This year, Great Falls Emergency Services has responded to over 1,000 calls so far. It's a higher rate than usual, and while they do an effective job responding to those calls, the tasks couldn't be done alone. MTN's Kate Mentor gives us a closer look at how Great Falls Emergency Services responds to medical and non-medical emergencies. Each year, first responders get thousands of calls every day. Now, whether those calls are minor or major, it's a part of their job that keeps them busy throughout the day. And as you can see right here, this tracks the amount of calls that go throughout all of Cascade County. But how exactly does this system all work? This is a mobile data terminal, and it provides uh, real-time information from the dispatch center which is uh, Cascade County uh, and City Dispatch Center up by the airport. First responders are provided with further information ranging from the location to the acuity of the call. The amount of calls vary from day to day, but in 2022, it was at an extraordinary high rate. Last year, we did a little over 10,000 calls total, and that includes 911, non 911. It includes the city, the county, the Air Force Base, and uh, to a certain extent, the region. The data terminal consists of various incident codes or the types of responses. The most common is the MED 1 versus MED 3 response. So when a 911 call goes to dispatch, they run through an EMD, so they ask certain questions of the caller to, di to classify it, whether it is a MED-3 emergent call where you get the lights and sirens and the fire department along with us, or if they dignify it as not as emergent, not as life-threatening, they will go downgrade to a MED-1, which is where you get a non-emergent ambulance with no lights or sirens and you will not get the fire department response. Emergency services operates within four districts within city limits. We tend to really mostly respond here in District 1, which is the main district. District 1 is the higher population. We get more people in this area and it kind of gets cut off right here on um, 20th Street right here where you kind of come across the other uh, side of town. Crews can also view calls on their mobile data truck monitoring any emergencies that come their way. So far, Great Falls Emergency Services have responded to a high rate of 25 to 30 calls per day. But by working with dispatchers and other entities within Great Falls, each crew is able to get the job done effectively. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News.